One question I'm wondering is, in your opinion, what do you think the biggest problem in our country or world is right now? I guess a follow-up would be, what do you think the solution would be if there is one? Mm. This one's hard. Um, this is one of those questions that I would want to think about for like 30 minutes frankly, yeah. before answering. Um I don't know if I'd categorize it as the biggest problem because whenever you go to the absolutes or extremes, it's tricky to know. Um, I would argue in the U.S., probably at the root of our problems would be two things. Mm. One would be the Nietzschean view of the death of God, I would say, is that... The scientific, I've talked about this at length before, the scientific revolution um, had many merits, but one of its, it had a destructive element, and Nietzsche recognized this, that conventional and traditional religious structures could not withstand the scientific push, and he was worried we would throw out the baby with the bathwater, or overcorrect, let's say. And I think he is. I think he was dead right about that. Um, the 20th century, in my opinion, was evidence of this. And I've talked about this at length, so I won't go into it right now. But I think that's definitely at our core. That our religious substrate and and axioms and morality are quite chaotic at the moment and we don't seem to have as much of a foundation as I think we need um, especially given the fact that we have technologies that could destroy us all and I don't think people really realize this like most people don't think about these things because you know they don't want to be sad and depressed and fair enough but you know we have thousands of thermonuclear warheads that are all pointed at each other and using very, very old technology and, and systems that do not have enough safety mechanisms within them. All you have to do is read about how close we came to all-out nuclear war multiple times in history. Uh, quick side note here. One of the more crazy stories is, I don't remember the exact location, but there was a nuclear, nuclear bunker, uh, or, or launch site rather, that they had a bear that was trying to climb the fence and climb the fence at the facility and set off an alarm. And they thought they were under attack. This is the height, this is the height of the, um, the Cold War. And they thought you know, they were under attack from the Soviets. And quite literally, a bear triggering an alarm almost ended the world. I don't think people realize that these things have happened and how close we've come. So we need to have a serious conversation about the implications of this. And, um, you know, new thermonuclear war is the most obvious one. Of course there's AI and there's other things coming down the pipeline, but yeah, that's the, the moral substrate is the biggest one. Part of that in, in direct connection with that is the decline of marriage in the United States. I'd say is no doubt in terms of predictors for success everything to a certain extent can be traced back to marriage and stable family households. So you can look at fatherless statistics and it's absolutely abysmal. It's terrifying. Um, and the effects of this we're going to feel for generations. So I'd say those are our biggest problems. The follow-up, do you think there's a solution? Um, and if so, what would it be to the nuclear war thing? Yes, I think there are proactive steps that we could take. Um, one of which would be a essentially a it's, it's called a first response policy there's probably a better way to term it but essentially countries would get behind the idea and the u.s would start this that you would declare that you would never be the one to fire the first shot essentially <clears throat> you never intentionally launch nuclear weapons it would only be a defensive mechanism and that would help diffuse certain things there's a bunch of things you could do to help eliminate them um that's probably a whole episode in terms of the marriage problem, uh, that's about as complicated as they come. Um, you'd have to have a societal and cultural shift that accepted 
um, both the statistical evidence and the human psychology evidence behind the institution of marriage. And a lot of people aren't game for even that discussion. And there's about a million contributing variables and factors that are affecting it. So it's, it's, it's not a simple one to even, to even try to tackle. But let's just say that the, the ideal of the feminist revolution is fundamentally wrong. It turns out that more free sex and less long-term relationships is a really bad idea. Um, I think more people need to know that. So, yeah, yeah. there's that answer. <laughs> That's pretty good. Yeah, and the Nietzschean problem kind of undergirds a lot of mm -hmm. the other problems. That's pretty well said.